Sit. Sit. You ready? You ready to work? Yeah? Let's go. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mariana and welcome to part two of my laundry room makeover. In my channel, you will find cleaning motivation, organization ideas and DIYs all on a frugal, frugal, frugal budget. If you enjoyed today's video, would you consider subscribing to my channel and turning on your notification bell? Also, you still have time to participate in my humble giveaway, so make sure you stay until the end. Here on day three, I am sanding down the walls and trying to make them as even as possible. Then you will see that I'm cleaning the walls just with water to get the dust off. You just have to allow faith to choose the color for your walls for you. I went to Home Depot and I picked up a Dupsy as I usually do. This is the color. Don't ask me what is it because all I know is that it costs $9 and that's all the information you get. And faith have chosen for a laundry room to be pinkish. Let's see what we got. If you're wondering what an oops is, is the return pain that customers were not satisfied with the colors when they got home. Here in the United States, the stores, if you are not satisfied with the color, you could actually bring it back. And what happens because it, they cannot sell it at full price, they will reduce the price and this trick was taught to me by my uncle in florida and every since every time i go to the store i go to the oops aisle and see if they have any colors that i'm interested in How it's looking I'm pleased with it I like it no step back I like it so far and I'm just while this is drying we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing outside real quick this is a laundry sink that I purchased from the Facebook market for $30 and it is in pretty bad shape. However, it is of very good quality. And although I was unsuccessful of taking some of this paint off because that's what it is, I will try later on on another time to use my steamer and I'm pretty certain that that will do the trick. But for now, just enjoy me trying to take all this stuff out. I am 
a single working mom and I often think that my middle name should be Hustler because I am always trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. And I know that there's a ton of people out there that are just like me, that they want quality and they want better. And sometimes just life is not that easy for you. And it is very humbly that I want to send you something. And I know perhaps this is not the biggest giveaway that you have participated here on YouTube, but it's the best I can do for someone else. It's the best I can do for you. And it's this, I will be mailing a $25 Walmart gift certificate plus all the labels that I use for my detergents. And if you stay until the end, you will see what I'm talking about. And if you use any other detergents that I didn't have a label for, once I reach out to you, you could let me know what extra label you need, and I'll be more than happy to send you the labels. This is not sponsored by anybody. This is coming from me to you because I appreciate you because I want you to know that you are not alone, that we are in this together. So make sure you introduce yourself in the comments down below and do it before August 10th. Yeah. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we two find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. recommendation is that you need to keep cleaning the stencil mold otherwise the paint will stick to the back and your wall be so messy and I'm not sure if you could tell but every time I use it I have to wipe the back Sunday, 
It is Sunday, 429. I already been working here all day. I mean, we've been without the washer and the dryer. Today is day three, and we're really probably gonna have to start doing some laundry. Although I already did all my laundry, I got ready before this, which you probably watched the video that I posted on Thursday. But laundry always accumulates. And hopefully by tonight I have the machines plugged in. We'll see how far I get. I don't need to go and have lunch at 4.30. Ah, I'm so excited. Listen, this costed $9 for the painter. Honestly, I want to show you. I pour this much, this much, and I probably use just a little bit. So you don't need a big one. Again, this is an oopsie. That's why we got the big gallon, but you don't need to buy that much. A little one will do when you want a stencil. The tiniest container you could find. Now you're gonna have to do some cleanup when you do stencil. I paid $2.99 plus tax for this, but I'm gonna have to touch up some of the messes that I made. Like this one that I just did, no! Ugh. Okay. All right. All right. Ah, right. oh, so dirt is making it worse. All right. This is how we look in, and I'm quite pleased with it. start doing some cleanup. This video has zero intention to educate you in how to paint or how to connect a washer or a dryer or anything like that. I am not a professional however the intention of this video and me sharing this diy is to encourage you and to motivate you to get you out of your comfort zone to poke you over the screen and shake you out and let you know like hey you could do things you could you could just you know keep watching youtube videos you could call the manufacturers you could ask a professional and you could try to do it and i truly believe that you have a gift that perhaps you haven't realized that it's there and it is in your valley that you realize that you have more things within you then what perhaps when you are at the mountain, you don't need and you don't realize you have that. You are packed with greatness. And I hope that the next time you try to do something and you feel that you don't have the resources, that you look and search within and see how far you could go and share that story with me.
I am wrapping up day three. The machines are back and installed. There's still more to do. I have to connect this, but I need to order the faucets first, as well as anything else I'm gonna need to hook it up. I would love to pull a baseboard. I also, there's an eight inch gap from here to the wall. I have some ideas, but right now I don't have the financial resources. These racks and the shelves are recycled from my kitchen pantry that I took down. And if you've been around with me for a while, you know that I like to reuse and repurpose and find a new life to everything around my house. And this is just another example. Now, the reason that the ceiling is not fixable right now is because the dishwasher is right on top of here as well as if you remember i am having trouble with the main bathroom and all the piping it's unfortunately right on top of my head so i'm not able to uh, put a ceiling right now in this part of the basement i am absolutely pleased with the laundry room makeover and how it turned out due to the fact that I'm not a professional and it was my first time uh, putting up she -rock and the whole shenanigans. I did notice that now it looks a little darker, especially on camera and you can't not really see that it's a pinkish color, but one thing at a time these are the labels that i'm telling you i am gonna be sending over to the winner and my dear friend i from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you so much for hanging out with me for part two of my laundry room makeover i upload every thursday and every sunday and until my next video thank you thank you thank you